From Camp KPU Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning, it is Friday, March 24th. I'm Jill Sperling. We have developing news to tell you about this morning as police in Pasco confirm an officer was shot. We're told the officer was taken to a local hospital and is expected to be okay. The shooting happened just before 6 a.m. in the parking lot of the Circle K convenience store off of 395 and Court Street. We don't yet have the details of what led up to the shooting, but the Pasco Police Department says a suspect ran from the scene afterwards. Officers chased that person and they were taken into custody a short distance away. It is not yet known what happened with the taking down of the suspect. However, there is another crime scene set up a short distance away. We will be following this story throughout the day today, and you can find the latest information at yaktrynews.com. Time right now is 827. We are sending it over to Jason Valentine for a look at your current conditions. Thank you so much, Jill, and good Friday morning, everyone. We have made it to the weekend. Folks, we do have some cloud coverage and some clear skies, a little like we saw yesterday, but there's just going to be a little less of everything, less of the winds, less of the shower activity, and less of the temperatures. We're still seeing snow accumulating in the upper elevations of the Blue Mountain region. We can see a little of this turn into rain snow mix for Pendleton between Pendleton and Tri-Cities this morning morning so you could see a little bit of slick roads uh, between those areas so we're going to see more sunshine than not better chance for uh, scattered showers will be in the afternoon hours highs for all of our areas mid to upper 40s lower 50s so we're going to stay there for our weekend a cool weekend is ahead our wind advisory is over but we're going to see between 10 and 25 mile per hour winds as we get to our afternoon they'll slow down overnight and again walla wall we'll see the bulk of the scattered showers on and off in your afternoon and early evening Jill. That's a look at local news and weather. Cap KVU Local News is back tonight at 5.